That is up, you guys. You're watching Sergio's Secrets. Before I get started, if you give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So everything that I'm saying in this video are my opinions. So today's video is going to be 10 brands that I feel like are dated, that are no longer worth your money. Everybody works hard for everything that they have, and I feel like these brands are just making you look dated, and I feel like these brands are no longer it anymore, and there are better alternatives out there. So these are opinions are my own. I'm not making, I don't want to make this video to make people feel bad, but these are just my opinion brands I'm going to be talking about today. I own and I've touched and I've seen, so I have one, I have one on one experience with a lot of these brands. I'm here to say that these brands no longer have the best quality, that are no longer it that are perceived a different way that I feel like you don't want it to be perceived as. The first brand that I'm going to be talking about today is going to be Vineyard Vines. Now, I'm somebody that has been guilty of Vineyard Vines. I have two tops right here. For me, why I don't like Vineyard Vines anymore is they just look so juvenile. I am 19 years old. I do not want to be dressed like I'm still a freshman in high school or, you know, a little sixth grader or, or like I'm 10 years old. So for me, Vineyard Vines just looks a little bit too juvenile for me. I don't want to look childish. I, I want to be taken more seriously. I want to be more elevated. I want to be more affluent. And for me, Vineyard Vines just does not come across as the values and the things that I want in my clothing. So therefore, this is something I don't wear. Like, at one point, I even bought my father um, a Vineyard Vines shirt, and he is in his late 30s. And it just looks so juvenile, and I just feel like Vineyard Vines is A, I feel like it's no longer cool what it used to be. It looks super juvenile. a lot of inconsistency consistency within their brand so my first brand that I feel like is no longer it and is no, no, no longer worth your money is going to be Vineyard Vines it's just too juvenile for my tasting second brand is going to be True Religion. Now I'm somebody that wore True Religion all the way from 6th grade all the way to my freshman year of high school. Ever since that I called it quits on True Religion. For me I don't necessarily like the quality of their items. The quality has definitely went down within the last 2-3 to three years. I like that the brand has devalued themselves. Now all the True Religion jeans you can literally get a pair of True Religion jeans for $40 $60 and obviously when you sell your jeans for a lower price than what they used to be like $200, $250, $300, you know, it, the quality is just not going to be there. So for me, it's going to be the quality is not there. I don't like what the brand is perceived as. There is a certain type of customer that wears True Religion now that I necessarily don't want to be associated with. There's nothing wrong if you like True Religion, if you wear True Religion. For me, it's just not my cup of tea. For, for me, I like my items to have quality and value into my life. And for me, the branding on the jeans, the branding on the shirt, I just feel like no longer aligns with myself and my values. And for me, what I look now in jeans are going to be jeans that are, have a very minimal slick design to them. So something like this. I just like my denim to, you know, be very crisp and clean and that are super versatile and that can get many, many wears out of it. And, you know, these are the type of jeans that I'm looking for now. And for me, I feel like True Religion kind of to stay relevant and they kind of devalued their brand. So for me, True Religion is a no-go and I'd rather have denim like this and that I could wear again and again and again and that I will get a lot of, you know, joy and excitement of me wearing these jeans. You can have a very nice outfit. Like, let's see what I'm wearing right now. And if I wear a pair of True Religion jeans, I feel like that ruins my outfit. I just way it's going to be perceived as I don't like the quality. So for me, True Religion is just a no-go. Number three is going to be Armani. So for me, I wore Armani Exchange only for one year, my freshman year of high school. And ever since then, I stopped wearing Armani Exchange. The reason is the quality sucks on their items. I remember I purchased a crossbody bag and within one month of me just wearing it, the entire corners um, all frayed and the strap broke. So the handbag expired super fast. Usually, I like to have my handbags for a very long time. Like I like my, I like to really, really value and use my items, and that didn't even last. I had about maybe five Armani tops, and every single one of them, regardless if I took them to the dry cleaners or I did the gentle cycle in the wash and never dried them, they just always peeled off. They were always crackly, wrinkled. They would just not fit the same. And for me, I want my items to have meaning. I want to use my items multiple, multiple times and get a lot of wear out of them. And for me, Armani. Exchange 
range. The price tag does not reflect the type of quality. I feel like Armani has definitely cheapened their branding. They now wholesale to a lot more places than they used to. You can, But now Armani Exchange, you can find at Dillard's, you can find at Macy's. There's nothing wrong with that. But the brand is now so flooded. I don't like the qualities. And I just don't think Armani Exchange brings a lot of value in my life. And I'm pretty sure in your life. And I just never felt myself when I wore Armani Exchange. I felt like a poser and a wannabe. And yeah, so the third brand is Armani Exchange. The fourth one is going to be Betsy. I'm just going to say it out loud. I current Betsy Johnson it just does not look good. It looks very cheap and it looks like you got your bag, you know, for $10 at Ross. There's nothing wrong with that. I love shopping at Ross, but I know what to look for when I shop at Ross. I know those items that will bring value to my wardrobe. And I feel like Betsy Johnson is not the same what it used to be like maybe eight years ago. It's no longer it. The quality is not there for their items. They definitely devalued. And for me, Betsy Johnson is you know just no longer it any and it deserves to be in the graveyard number five is going to be miss me kind of the same thing with a true religion i just don't like the branding on it i don't like the pockets i didn't miss me denim but there was somebody in my life my mom <laughs> that had a little period in time where she was obsessed with miss me jeans and i never quite understood why i just feel like they're overpriced for what they are i feel i just don't like the bling on the butt it just does not look elevated it does not look clean slick and classic and i feel like miss me's it just comes across as like too much so for me miss me is just a no-go Number six is going to be Dolce Gabbana. Now this one may be the most controversial brand that I'm talking about right now. They've done so many things. They said that IVF children are synthetic. They said that gay people can't have children, that they can't have a family. They called Selena Gomez. I'm somebody that's from Grand Perry. You know what I mean? I grew up in Grand Perry and Selena Gomez is from Grand Perry. And you know, when I used to work at Chick-fil-A, she would go through the drive-thru. And so for me, like Selena Gomez is just she means a lot to me, and that does not negate the fact what else they, what else is Kiara, the you know the best blogger out there in the entire world. They called her, a, they said something very negative about her on her wedding day, and you know they just they just keep saying all these problematic things. They said they had the entire drama in Shanghai, China, where they had to cancel the fashion show. The government had to step in, and right now Dolce Gabbana is not doing the well financially because they just have so much controversies. And for me, there's so many videos on Dolce Gabbana and why they're so problematic. I will leave some down below and I will most likely make my own video on Dolce Gabbana but for me Dolce Gabbana comes across as ignorant when you wear Dolce Gabbana when I see people come across as wearing Dolce Gabbana I think that they're ignorant I feel like their items don't align with my values their branding does not align with my values first of all I've never really been a huge Dolce Gabbana fan I feel like it's a little bit too loud and a little bit too tacky for my tasting I just feel like if you wear Dolce Gabbana, you just comes across as ignorant and I want you guys to, you know, look your best, to feel your best and for me, Dolce Gabbana is not a brand that I will ever give my money to. I will never spend one penny into that brand. It is not worth it for me and I stand behind everything that I say. So Dolce Gabbana is just a no-go. They've just said so much, they've done so much that, you know, really hurt their branding and really hurt their image and you, I kind of give people the side eye when I see people carry Dolce Gabbana. I do not align myself with with Dolce Gabbana and I feel like you shouldn't either as well. seven is going to be Aeropostale. I feel like Aeropostale is just no longer it. I feel like those kind of tween brands look very juvenile. I said even though like let's say Hollister and Abercrombie and American Eagle are targeted towards my demographic. You know somebody that's like under 21 that you know has a little bit of income that you should spend it at those stores for me. I'm not that type of person. I like to look elevated. I like to look affluent. I like to look like I know what I'm talking about. I want to be taken super seriously. And for like your, if you still wear Aero Postel shirts, I feel like you're like in 2011, 2013, 2014. And I feel like it's no longer it. Like I'd rather go to like a department store or I'd rather just go anywhere and literally buy a plain black shirt or a plain white shirt and wear that with the entire outfit that I'm wearing. I feel like that Aero Postel devalues your entire look, your entire branding. And it's just no longer it, it's no longer in style. And like I said, I just want you guys to look your best. So for me, Aeropostale is just a no-go.
Number eight is going to be Roberto Cavalli. Kind of the same thing. It's kind of a problematic the way their brand is perceived. I feel like they kind of devalued themselves. I went to a Macy's outlet and you can literally find a Roberto Cavalli bag that says the MSRP is like $1,800 for $200, $300. I feel like Roberto Cavalli literally looks like you're in 2007 and 2006. I feel like they kind of failed to stay relevant. They kind of failed to be updated and I feel like they've always kind of stuck with the same thing and that's why like brands like Dolce Gabbana, Roberto Cavalli, you know, BCBG, they kind of fall between their signs because they kind of fail to elevate and to evolve their branding. I just rather wear, like I said, a plain black shirt, a plain white shirt, a plain pair of pants, and to have it blinged out with Roberto Cavalli's very tacky design. It just does not look affluent. It does not look elevated. So for me, Roberto Cavalli is another brand that is no longer it anymore. Number nine is going to be kind of streetwear brands. It's going to be kind of like Vape, Valone, Supreme. Like I've never got into those brands. I just feel like, like I said, it looks juvenile. Juvenile. I see people that are like my age or that are 30s or that are 40s or their 50s and it just looks childish. It it looks like you're just trying too hard to fit in. You want to, you want to be that person that has everything that's it. But for me, when I see people wear that brand, I'm just kind of like, you really paid over retail for a t-shirt. Really a plain t-shirt that just has one branding on it. Your brand is just a no-go for me. It's just not classy. It's not classic. And for me, I want to be taken seriously. Wear, wear Supreme or like those streetwear brands. I don't really take them seriously, to be honest. Somebody wear one of those brands, I'm just like, you know, oh, like, look at you. You're just wearing a Supreme shirt. You're wearing a babe shirt. Oh, cool. Like, whatever. Like, I just... I'm just, it's a no-go, guys. Streetwear brands, don't fall into the hype. Spend your money, buy classic items in your collection. You don't have to keep up with the Joneses. Be yourself and invest in quality items, quality versus quantity. Number 10 is going to be probably my favorite brand when I was in high school or in junior high and that I tried to make more popular again. It just did not work out. The brand that I'm talking about right now is Juicy Couture. I love Juicy Couture. I love Juicy Couture, but for me, it's just something that's got to go to the graveyard now. It is no longer it anymore. This is not hacky. This is not elevated. This is not affluent. And this is not, you know, this is not align myself with the type of person that I am today. And this is the only item that I have left from Juicy Couture. And for whatever reason, I just can't seem to let it go. And I feel like today is the day that I will be, you know, getting rid of them. And yeah, guys, that's going to be my video today. 10 brands that I feel like are no longer it, are no longer popular, that look juvenile, that just no value into your life. Is there a brand that you feel like I missed? Is there a brand that, is there, a, is there something that I missed in this video? Is there something that you would, you would have added into this video? And let, definitely let me know down. I'm going to keep the conversation going in the comment section down below. But yeah, if you guys want me to do more videos like this, definitely let me know down below. This is my first video of me standing up. And I quite like it because I can kind of move around. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, all my opinions are my own. And Sergio Secrets is out for the day. And I'll see you back on my channel pretty, pretty soon. Bye, guys.